Hey, what's going on guys? Y'all yeah, may release the Android 9.0 Pi update for the Poco Phone F1 and uh, there's a couple of new things I want to share with you guys. Most of the things are not going to be changed as you can see with your eyes, but they uh, change the overhaul of the UI. They make it a lot smoother. They just make it a lot better overhaul. They change a couple of stuff, move a couple of things around. So the UI now it is version me ui 10.1.3 so they make it a lot better it's a lot smoother it's just overall a better book of fun f1 so android 9.0 pi there's a couple of things they change so i want to share them with you guys right now so let's get started folks so with the 9.0 pi update on the book of fun f1 they add a couple of things and fix a couple of things the first thing they add is their new Google Lens support. So if you guys got a Google Pixel phone, you guys know what Google Lens is. It's basically a feature inside the camera app that allow you to do cool things with Google Lens support. So some things they fix is that they fix the issue with the Android Auto. Not really sure what this does because I don't use Android Auto. The next issue that has been fixed with the new update is that the microphone did not work after you plug in the earphone. So after you plug in the earphone on Android 8.1 Oreo, the microphone did not work sometime. But the new update fixed it for you. So now when you plug in your earphone, the microphone will always work. So that's nice. Another feature they fix is that setting for turning off the automatic display could not be used not really sure what they mean because on android 8.1 oreo the automatic display always off and on for me i'm not really sure if that's what they mean but uh they saying that setting for turning off screen automatic display could not be used it always worked for me so i'm not sure what they're talking about anyway here's the book of phone f1 so let me put this phone to the side from the lock screen when you press the power button, you got your camera on the bottom right and you get your swap up to unlock. You get your date, you get your time on the top right. You get your battery icon, your Wi-Fi. If you swap up, you'll go to the front screen, of course. They got a couple of icons that change. You got a new camera icon that's changed. The photo app has changed. The phone dialer app has changed, the browser app changed, the music app changed, the security setting app changed, the security app has changed as well, and the my video app icon has changed. So if we go to settings, and when we're in settings, if we go to about phone, you can see it says Android version 9.0. If we tap on that couple of times, you'll see the uh, Android 9.0 Pi pop up and that's basically that. You can see you got different themes can show up sometimes. Android security patch level is November 1st, 2018. So the security patch level is not up to date. It's too much old, but that's okay. And the MIUI version is 10.1.3. It's the stable version, so that's nice. If we go back, Go to system updater. We got a new new update. If we go to display, you got brightness level. You can do that automatic or manual. You got night mode and you got night mode color temperature. Let's go back. You got your ambient display. You can always make that turn on to give you the best light temperature of the room temperature that you end at the current time. Let's go all the way back. So now you got some cool features. You got contrast and color. You can have default, warm, or cool, similar to your Samsung device. You got text size. You can change the text size, small, medium, large, extra large, you know, stuff like that. And on the system, you got double tap the screen to wake it up. So if you have that feature activated, every time you double tap on the screen, you'll wake it up. You got auto rotate. If you turn that on, that means when you're watching videos or whatnot or watching movies, 
the screen will add a word tape once you turn the screen to your landscape mode. You got raised to wake up if you turn that feature on that means when you set the phone on any table when you pick it up it'll automatically wake it up just like on your iPhone or your Samsung device and you got your themes you got some cool themes you got your classic you got your classical and you got your poker theme you got vibrate and sound you know typical stuff you got lock screen and password you can choose the fingerprint you can choose a lock screen lock and you got all that good stuff let's go back you got notification and status bar you got show connection speed show icon for incoming notification your battery indicator and for the battery indicator you can make that graphical or percentage you can see if I want to make it percentage it's on 94 percent if I want to change it back I can go ahead and change it back and make it to graphical it will really just shows the battery icons and you got full screen display you can see you got buttons that means you'll see the on screen button if you want full screen gestures you can activate that and you'll be able to use the full screen gestures but I prefer a button so I'm gonna leave it on you got second space second space allow you to protect your data you guys know what that is so if we go down to the notification center you can see you got your notification like so you can swap left or right to kill it when you swap left you got two new set, uh, sections you can go straight to the settings or you can mute or buzz the notification and that's your toggles on the top you got your mobile data mute your internet connection your flashlight if we tap on that you'll turn on the flashlight you got your GPS, rotate off or on, you got your lock screen, screenshot. If you want to take a screenshot, just tap on that and you'll be able to take a screenshot. You got your auto brightness and you got more. When you tap on more, you can reset it or edit. You know, you can do multiple things with that. Here's your brightness. This is what the brightness look like now. It's different from Android 8.1 Oreo. If you got plenty of notification, all you gotta do to kill it, tap on the X button and you'll kill all the notification. So if we go to the camera, you got your photo mode, video, short video, you got portrait. If you want to portrait mode, you'll love this feature by the way. You got square, panorama, and you got manual. On the top you got three bars if you tap on that you can go straight to your settings settings stay the same as android 8.1 oreo nothing major nothing new if we go to the web browser let's check out some websites let's go to ebay.com you can see this thing is blazing fast let's go to bestbuy.com this phone is still fast guys on android 8.1 Point no, Oreo it was fast, but Android 9.0 Pi make it a lot faster, I think. Let's go to Walmart.com and boom shakalaka that was pretty fast. Let's go to Apple.com and it's done. So there you have it guys. That was my review for Android 9.0 Pi on the Poco Phone F1. I'm gonna make some speed tests, so stay tuned. Thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment below and I'm out guys. Peace.